What number am I? Okay, well, it's about the sixth one coming in today, and I think it's nice. Do you? You, you think it's a good idea to have women in the locker room? Well, it's going to the players inside what they think. So uh, if you don't get embarrassed, uh, the men, I guess, won't. Historically, sports reporting has been a male-dominated field that has repeatedly shut out women because of their gender over the past 30 years. I think it was a lot easier not to allow women in the locker room when there weren't as many women in the industry. And today, with the large amount amounts of women in the industry, I don't think that's an option anymore. You know, I think things were probably different when those policies were in place. That was when females were really just starting to break into, um, you know, the sports broadcasting industry. Um, and gain respect and not just be, hey, there's a girl in the locker room. They're here to ask questions. They're here to do a job just like the men in the locker room are. Women have gradually integrated into the sports reporting field, but not without many struggles along the way, such as unequal opportunities as men, sexism, and harassment. What does it mean to you now when the team is struggling? I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. What we know is... I want to kiss you. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Yeah! A huge compliment. Yeah, you know Joe Namath, the part of the floor. Kevin Funches has seemed to really embrace the physicality of his routes and, and making getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of truck sticking people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, it's funny. But uh, fun is coming along, man. After careful thought, I understand that my word choice was extremely degrading and disrespectful uh, to women. And to be honest, that was not my intention. When he said it, I was, I was in the room. Um, I was just like, everybody's jaw kind of dropped. And Jordan was in front of me, but I looked over at some of the men and they were like, oh, and, and I was like, this is good. This is going to blow up. This is bad. Jordan is probably knows more about sports than no disrespect than a, a lot of men in this world. She is, I mean, she knows her stuff. I think Cam respects women. I've walked into that locker room for three years and never felt anything but respected by him and, and the other men in there as well. I think it was an unfortunate situation. Now let's see what's happened to me on my first sortie. Jay Johnston dragged me into the locker room. Elston Howard passed by with a comment about another beauty. And everybody else has kind of looked at me with a benign curiosity. I think, though, that all of that's going to change. And that quite soon, I will be sitting in one of those little cubby holes, just like men reporters, trying to get the story. In the Yankee locker room, I'm Linda Sutter for Channel 5 News. When women begin to appear in sports, they were limited to sideline reporters and update anchors. I think that it's just going to continue to grow. I think we're going to continue to see more and more females um, doing more prominent roles. You've seen women now not just doing sidelines, but some of them doing play-by-play -play and calling games um, and in some analyst roles. I think it's, it's, it's happening more and more every day. I mean, now you see, um, think of Becky Hammond, an NBA coach. I mean, she goes up through the ranks and those guys respect her just like they would a man. Beth Mowens is the first um, female play-by-play -play in the NFL. She's the first, there could be so many more. So while, yes, we've, we're on the sideline and we're, on, we're in the locker rooms, like, and we're, some of us are even doing color, but doing play-by-play -play and getting more women in color um, in any aspect or of, in any sports, especially male-driven sports, um, I think is huge. In lack of respect, individuals assume females were hired to look pretty and there was probably a guy doing the work for them behind the scenes. I think a lot of people think being a sports reporter is just showing up and being on TV and there's going to be someone doing your hair and makeup and writing your scripts and the reality of it is until you get to a certain level, that's not it at all. You're the one that's writing your scripts and carrying your camera and doing your hair and trying to make it look like you didn't just sweat the last three hours of practice when you're ready to go on TV and do a live shot. It's fun when you deal with people who are like that, you know? Or the, the best question is, honey, do you even like sports? Why don't you do the news? Females were only allowed in the press box area and did not have locker room access. Coaches and organizations wouldn't let women into the locker rooms because they thought it was no place for women and was a distraction to the players. 
it's sad to think about that you couldn't go in a locker room where your counterparts can and that you can't you know get to certain people when other people can that's that's a difficult thing to stomach and sorry we're here and we're doing our job just like the men are so if it's inappropriate then don't let the men in there to do their job have everyone come outside and we'll see how the players like that. Because they were not allowed inside locker rooms, female sports reporters resorted to waiting outside locker room doors to interview the players as they left. Oftentimes, the players were too tired to answer after just having talked for hours in the locker rooms to all male reporters. That's our place of work. This is our job. Um, if we're going to be doing post-game coverage or we're going to be getting interviews and that's where it's happening, then therefore we should have every right to be able to get in there and do our job. This all changed on September 25th, 1978. Her name is Melissa Ludke. She is with Sports Illustrated, and she is suing Bowie Kuhn, Major League Baseball, the Yankees, and the city of New York to secure her right to gain the same immediacy of access to the clubhouse as her fellow sports writers who happened to be male. This was the first step of many for women in sports. Well, I think that the evolution of it is great. I think that it's tremendous that there are so many women in sports and that there are women that are representing themselves well and doing a great job and telling great stories. Props to all the ladies that came before us that set the tone, the pioneers. And as long as we continue to look past all the noise and work hard, then the sky's the limit.